This short video will be about how to install PostMarket OS for a Pine phone to an SD card using the full installation process called PM Bootstrap. This is for PostMarket OS. Now you might ask why you would want these extra steps than what I explained in the previous video about flashing Ubuntu Touch and PostMarket OS for a Pine phone. The difference is that one, this uses the latest PostMarket OS, so it will likely be newer than what's in the Pine Phone Images page of PostMarket OS Wiki. Also, if you do not also if you do not do this kind of flashing, you may not have space in your root FS. This procedure will use up the entire space in the drive for the root FS partition. This is also the same procedure for creating a flash ROM image for an Android phone, except that instead of making an SD card, you're just creating a flash ROM file, which you will install on the Android phone. So it's the same thing. So let's get started. For this demo, I'm running an Ubuntu 18.04 on a laptop. First, I prepared a 16 gigabyte SD card for this. It is mounted as you can see in File Manager. Now, this is an important step. Before you go on, you have to unmount the drive. You can use the umount command on terminal, or you can just do what I'm doing here. I just click on the unmount icon in File Manager. Okay, now that that's done, the first thing we need to do is to install PM Bootstrap. The easiest way to do this on Ubuntu is just to use pip3. So the command is pip3 install PM Bootstrap. And I've installed it before, so it's very fast now. Next, you now have to initialize PM Bootstrap so it builds the OS for your desired platform. The command is pm bootstrap init. It will now set up a workspace for the OS. Make sure you have at least a couple of gigabytes of space. It will default your workspace to the directory shown. Next, choose your vendor. For this build, I'm choosing Pine64. My device code name will be PinePhone. Enable this package non-free firmware? Yes. Username will default to user. User interface. It shows all the choices you have. Now for a Pine phone, I'm really limited to Fosh or Plasma Mobile. So for this build, I'm going to select Fosh, which is the user interface made by Purism for the Librem 5. Build options, leaving that unchanged. The time zone will be mine. Device host name, I'm going to leave that to default. Copy SSH public keys. Since I have those on this computer, I might as well copy them. You can ignore that. Then it is instantly done. Now to install, you type this command pm bootstrap install sd card equals slash dev slash mmc blk0 and that is the typical reference to the sd card slot then it will start the process this will take longer a few minutes and i will fast forward every time it pauses so you don't have to wait.
Then it's done. Just to shut down everything, I will type PM bootstrap shutdown. This will end the Chirut session that's currently active so I can get back to my computer's control. Then to erase everything that PM bootstrap stored on my computer, I type in PM bootstrap zap. Now let's look at the SD card and see what happened. You can see that there's the boot partition. And then I'm certain that that will mount the root FS partition, which is here, and execute SBIN in it to start post-market OS on the device. And you can see all the standard directories here. And that's it. If you like these tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. There will be several new videos relating to Postmarket OS as I explore this platform fully. In a prior series, I closely learn about Ubuntu Touch in great detail, so you will get some deep tech information from me. Thanks for watching.